Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to install Python and how to set up, how to download and how to set up our Python into our Windows system. Okay, this is the location python.org downloads location. Okay, in this location we can able to download the latest version. Okay, that is download Python 3.10.5 present when I am going to do for this video. That moment I have this is the latest version. And if you want pre-release means previous released versions means you can able to come in for this location and you can able to download whichever the version you want and which version is working for your system. Okay, in my system it is working present is 3.8.5 zero that is it is coming in the lower and if i come down here this is the version and download session okay i have already downloaded for python 1 python 3.8.0 if i click downloads it will go for the location what are the things they are fixed for this version okay and also we can able to download any executable file exe executable file itself is the right this one you can able to download and install okay if your windows system is 32 bit you can able to download for this one into 86 one if your windows system is 84 bit sorry 64 bit you can download for this 64 bit executable file okay then you can come to here and then double click then you can see this is the location my file is going to store okay and we need to remember this location app data it will be by default it is hidden place you have to enable for hidden folders then you can able to do it once you click it will by default it will download all the things what all the things are necessary everything it will download and it will keep it once it is down downloaded and everything is installed then after that we'll see and before that also we'll uh, do for windows 10 system variables setup okay we'll keep our uh, system variables also ready once it is done then we can able to install that system variables into that location now almost all uh, it is done You can see after that what are the things are we can able to do using our python things also later video sessions once it is done we can able to say now almost are completed we pause it is downloading and it is adding for that folder location Now everything is done, we can close, now we can go to C folder, users, then username and there is a app, this is a hidden folder, I already made it for hidden folder to visible, then we can go to lo that location, lo local and programs. And then you can able to see my python is presented here and my python is 38 underscore 32 okay this is the location i have and i can able to take this location and i'm going to my environment variable location 
and here I can able to set up for my Python location. Python edit path location and I'm going to use it for yep, replacing because I have already Python 27. Now I'm upgrading for 38. Okay, now that one and another folder also we need to use that is scripts because my pp is presented here we'll uh, come to know that why pp is required and all we'll see in the later video session okay now my people's my script both the things are ready then we need to open for our command prompt whether it is present or not Version. Now my Python version is available. Okay. Now we can able to see people so whether it is presented or not. Because it should be download for people also while we are installing for Python. PP is main uh, version to provide our more installation into our system my pip version is also presented 19.2.3 this is the location my pip is presented that's good for me everything is done for my python setup and we'll see for later video python installation okay that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed this one if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you